Good morning, Harding Middle School. It's Monday, March 9th. I'm Lana. And I'm Rowan. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Here are the Harding headlines. Yearbook orders due, drama club, basketball update, H2O, gathering card club, and Harding hangout. Let's start off with a yearbook announcement from Mrs. Kilgore. Take it away. Hi, Harding. Yearbook orders are due this Thursday. It costs $19, but why? Let's look at a yearbook from 1985 when it probably costs $7. First, the covers. We used to be the Hawks, did you know that? It's not a bad drawing, but ours will be in full color. Look at Mr. Hudak in 1985, Mr. Who! You guys can look back at your teachers and be like, what are they doing? All the pictures will be in full color, so we can see that Maria's hair was green last year. You go, girl. So many weird moments, like stationary bikes at Harding, and incorrect ways to hold a turtle. Seriously, what is going on there? But we can see our memories in 60 pages of full color. So order your yearbook by Friday the 13th. The memories are worth it. Back to the anchors. Attention Drama Club. Cast, take this week to memorize your lines. We will be off script on Monday, March 16th. This week is stage crew only and will only be meeting on Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday's rehearsal will be stage crew as well as dad and kids. Here's an update on the boys' basketball teams. The seventh grade boys won on Friday to extend their season, but lost on Saturday. The eighth grade boys won on Saturday and will play at North Ridgeville on Tuesday at 5.30 in the second round of their tournament. Good luck and go, go Rangers. Rangers! Attention all Harding students. You're invited to attend an H2O meeting after school this Wednesday. We'll meet after school in the cafeteria and finish up at 4.30. We're also, we're also asking everyone to bring a favorite recipe to highlight in a unique project to fight hunger around the world. Again, it's an H2O meeting this Wednesday after school. Attention Gathering Card Club. Club will meet tonight. Repeat, club will meet tonight as usual. See you there. Attention all students. Our next Harding Hangout is this Friday, the 13th. We will have a DJ, photo booth, and lots of food. Cost is free to PTSA members and $5 to all others. Be sure to bring your school-issued ID. Celebrating a birthday today is Aiden Bangert, Jude Hammer, and Maya Neves Busey. That concludes the announcements. Now onto the student-produced content. Here's a look at today's walk-home weather with Sarah and our Michael Muzichenko Metric Weather Center. Do you, Do you like, like peanut, peanut butter? butter? Yes, I especially like Reese's peanut butter cups. Today's walk home weather will be 14 degrees Celsius. That's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Fun fact, the largest peanut butter cup that was ever made weighed 440 pounds. Hey anchors, what is the largest piece of candy you've ate? I think I ate an entire king size bag of M&Ms once. I found a five pound uh, gummy bear in a store. That was big. Now here's Anna and Ava with today's new slapper. Make us laugh, Anna and Ava. Good morning, Harding Middle School. Today's new slapper is, like most people my age, I'm 12 years old. It's a small world, huh? Now that's a real new slapper. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. Let's take a look at today's lunch. Bread and chi breaded chicken patty with whole grain bun, broccoli cuts, mandarin oranges, raisins, and milk. Now let's kick it over to Grace for today's OTD on this day. Take it away, Grace. Salutations, Warren G. Harding Education Center. On this day in history, in 1959, the Barbie doll makes its debut. This is important because Barbie was the first mass-produced toy doll in the United States with adult features. The woman behind it was Ruth Handler, who co-founded Metal Inc. Now back to the anchors. 
Here's today's daily positive behavior reminder. Remember to never let anyone in the building. That's right. If you see someone standing at a door asking to be let in, walk away and let someone in the office know. Do not open the door for them. This concludes the Harding Morning News. And remember, be empathetic, be kind, be an upstander, today and every day.